afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Cincinnati Reds and the Milwaukee Brewers. Now in the box, Nick Senzel. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the afternoon first pitch of the at bat on its way. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for bowl one. And now this misses as well as he's behind the leadoff man this afternoon, 2 0 now. Well, you always get a sense of the umpire's strike zone, usually early on in a game, and that's normally a pretty good clue. Second pitch of the game, and it's already looking like a tight zone. Three and one the count now. We'll be in the 80s later this afternoon, but for now, 79 degrees at first pitch. And he lays off ball four, and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. Joey Votto is at the plate as he watches ball one. A 1-1 count to the Reds' first baseman. Lifetime against this pitcher. He's got a three for seven line. He also has one home run. Grounded to the right. Fielded cleanly. The second for one. On to first. And Votto is retired. It's a double play. So bases are empty here with two gone. And next to bat will be Jesse Winker. First pitch on its way. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. This is pulled into right. Braun will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Here's Brock Holt now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. Lifted in the air out to right. Number four is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Here's Eric Sogard. He and eight at bats in the series. He's collected three hits. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Hit out towards second. Mustakis is there. Throw on to first, two gone. Digging in, Omar Narvaez. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. Hit hard up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. So here's Abisayu Garcia. High in the air out to center field. Garcia. Senzel makes the play, and the side is retired. Second inning set to go, and up next, the former World Series hero, Mike Moustakis. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Even one and one count to Moustakis. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. All even now, two and two. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Digging in, Eugenio Suarez. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Ball one to start the at bat. Now the 1 0. Misses for the second ball. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. 3 0 to him now. Has a look, now the pitch. Mustakis on at first, nobody out. And a full count now, three and two. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. And boy, that misses as well. It's back to back walks to start out the inning. First pitch coming, here it is. Here's the 0 1. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0 2. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Count is 1 and 2 now. From the belt, kicks and deals. 
And this one's in the dirt. And he'll hurry back to second here as he was wise to not push it that time. None out, runners at first and second. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Braun moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Coming to the plate now, Freddie Galvis. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Hit weakly back to the mound. One there. Return throw is in time. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Brian Braun. And he fouls this one off. Gray ready with the 0-1. Hit the other way out toward right field. Number four is over a few steps toward the line, and he has it for the first down. So striding forward good. now, Manny Pena swinging it well so far in this series. He's three for nine. Fouled off. Pitch on the way. Smoke toward third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And that's the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring Luis Urias to the plate. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. So far on the year, Urias is slugging a little under the 400 mark, so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Bottom of the second here with no score. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Digging in now, Kurt Casale, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The 1 0. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball, 1 and 1. 1 and 2. One, two. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above the belt. That's so tough to lay off of. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Two balls and two strikes to the Reds catcher. Lifted in the air to center field. Broxton is right there, one down. Stepping into the box, Sonny Gray. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Navarez backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Digging in for oh, his second at bat, bat, Nick Senzel. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. No, that and that misses ball. for ball one. Red center fielder in front with a 2 and 0 count. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. And this one's low here, so the count swells to 3-1. and one. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Uh, this will be foul off to the right out of play. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night. A swing and a miss. That retires the side. And... Digging in now for the Brewers, Keon Broxton, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. And it's fouled away. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it, two and one. So that's two pitches in a row above the belt. As a hitter, that's what you're looking for, especially when it's a day game and the ball is carried. That just wasn't a good enough pitch to hit. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. In the air out to straightaway left. And that's in there, base hit. To the plate now, Brock Holt, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And they go right after him here as he swings and misses, strike two. On the ground to second base, this could be two. Galvis, relay to Votto's in time at first, and it's a double play, side retired. 
All set for the start of the fourth. And here comes the first baseman, Joey Votto. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues. This one's down. It's the first hit for the Reds, and it's going to be for extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. The left fielder, number 33. Stepping in now, Jesse Winker. Into center field, line drive base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Into the box, Mike Mustakis. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. One ball, one strike to count. Pitch in the dirt, and that scoots right on by. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Braun on the run. He won't have a play, and this should finally get him on the board. Now that third baseman, Eugenio. So now to the plate, Eugenio Suarez. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And a relay home, and not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. Now batting. Number four. Into the box now. Number four. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. A swing and a ground ball to third. There's Sogard for one. On to first, and they get the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Freddie Galvis. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. 1 and 1. Well, that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Backdoor slider. Just missed the corner. As they say, that's a Hall of Fame pitch. One ball and two strikes to count. Count still at 1 and 2. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Kurt Casale would be next. There's ball four. Striding in once again, Kurt Casale. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. And this one's down off the shoe tops, 1 and 0. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Two and one after the foul ball there. Three runs already home here. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. They say the toughest pitch in baseball is a located fastball. I disagree. That nasty slider is tough to hold up on. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. Behind on that one. Now behind in the count 0 and 1. Has a look. Now the pitch. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. One and one. Inside and low, two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Here's a topper fouled off to the right, and that'll even the count at two and two. And another foul ball. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Now the payoff pitch home is at the knees and called strike three. Digging in, Eric Sogard. He'll begin things here against Sonny Gray. 
in there at the letters 0 and 1. Looking at his career totals, Sogard brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Galvis backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. The first baseman. So coming to the plate, Omar Narvaez. He reached on a single in his first try. And that's in there for a strike. One and one the count to the Brewers first baseman. Now a swing and a miss and he's behind one and two. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Omar Narvaez becomes out number two this inning. Avisail Garcia is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Fouled away. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the. Corbin Burns is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Now the pitch. Hit out towards second. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. The first baseman, number 19, Joey. So up steps the former MVP, Joey Votto, as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. Votto behind, but still dangerous, even on 0 and 2. He takes and now he's down 0 and 2. I'm not sure, but he may have been taking to give the guy at first a chance to run. And he got him. Stepping in and ready oh, for another shot. For Jesse Winker. Go he's one for two in the ball yep. game. Now a move over to first. And late reactions, and they got him. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. He's through first and hustling for second. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. Up next for Cincinnati, the second baseman, Mike Moustakis. At the plate, Mike Moustakis, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Braun has a read on it. And that's the third out. Here's Ryan Braun now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The right fielder. Popped him up. Ryan. Casale. Moving to his left. Makes the play. One away. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next is the catcher, Manny Pena. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. A ball and a strike. One and one. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded by Mustakis. Throw gets him. Two down. Digging in to try it again. Luis Urias looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The 1 0. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. High in the air out towards shallow right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And that'll bring in Eugenio Suarez. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Line drive base hit. And this will get to the wall now out near the Milwaukee bullpen. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now batter, number four. Standing in now, number four, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Ball two now. Clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it. 3 and 0 to him now. That one's in there, 3 and 1. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Here's a swing and a miss at the off speed pitch. It's a full count now, 3 and 2. 
half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. Up next, runner at second, one away. And up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvez. One ball, no strikes to count. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2-0 and now. Hey, you want to talk about being in the zone? This guy's been raking lately. And it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. The two and one on its way. Hit to first. He's got it. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Ready for another shot now for Casali. It was a walk in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 and 1. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Pops this one up. And this is going to dunk in out there, a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. The pitcher. At the plate now, Sonny Gray. And he fouls this one off. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Swings through it for strike number two. Out in front of that one may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. Now another 0 2. That's the ball. One ball, two strikes. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is ready. Striding in, Keon Broxton. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Fouled off. Gray ready with the 0 1. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Down the left field line and deep. And no one will get this one. Hit on the ground to third. And there's one down now. Christian Yelich will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Hitting for the Brewers. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Heading for second is Yelich. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Now batter. To the plate now. Brock Holt. She'll take a first pitch curveball right down the middle for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Lifted the other way to left center. Senzel backing up on it. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So stepping in, Eric Sogard, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball 1, 1-0. One and, and he popped him up. Suarez ranging into the outfield. He's there to track it down, and that'll end. Brett Anderson is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number 7. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Grounder down the line at third. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Now here's the pitch. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold. 0 and 2. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's 1 and 2. Misses ball 2. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, nope. pitches oh. in that location are tough to do anything oh, with. And ball a good four. take Take's there is they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. In is Joey Votto Joey. now. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Skied in the air to straightaway left. This is gathered in out there by Garcia for the first out. Settling in now, Jesse Winker. He doubled his last time through. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, get you a ribby. One ball, no strikes to count. Called strike at the knees, one and one. 
He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. The batter of the dog. Second base. Stepping in now, Mike Mustakis. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Garcia is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Stepping in, Eugenio Suarez. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Here comes the first pitch. That's the ball. Two men are on with two men out. Well. Two and zero. Oh. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Now the 2 1. Hard on the ground towards short, and that's through into left field for a base hit. Now a long throw home. The tag, and he is out. Ladies and gentlemen, please join for the. In now, Omar Narvaez. Hit in the, the air to center baseman. field. Omar Narvaez. Senzel's got it, and there's one gone. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Avisail Garcia. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, digging for two. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. Now batter. Into the box now, Ryan Braun. As he'll take a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. And that finds the target, nothing in two now. Hey, with first base open, pitcher's definitely going to nibble and try and see if the hitter expands the zone. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and Mostakas has this one for route number two. Into the box, Manny Pena. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Just off the outside, and it's 1 and 0. That evens it up, 1 and 1. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes. Your Brent Suter has been summoned from the bullpen now, as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 35. In now, number four. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Philip Irvin is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Irvin. And he goes up to get this one as he pops it up over toward the right side of the infield. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. Stepping in, Freddie Galvis. No hits for him yet in the game despite his team's offensive onslaught. The short hit hard, and that's through a base hit. Runner at first following the error. And next to hit is the catcher, Kurt Casale. Here comes the first pitch. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee, try and get you to ground into a double play. You have to set your sights at least belt high. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Now batting, Sonny Gray. And an opportunity here for a fourth plate appearance here this afternoon. And you have to say, he's really earned it. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back to it. The 0-2 pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. But this will wind up foul. Still 0 and 2. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw on to first, and that error won't come. 
bottom of inning number eight set to go. And stepping into the box will be Luis Urias. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Senzel is there, and he has it for the first out. And that'll bring in the speedy Keon Broxton. He was a ground out victim last time up. And he takes ball one. Count even now at one and one. No runs, four hits. One error thus far in the game for Milwaukee. This is line to left. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Lorenzo Kane will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play and that. Alex Claudio enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth from the stretch. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Claudio is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. Oh, and he takes something off there as this is swung on and missed, and there's one gone here in the ninth. The first baseman, At the plate, Joey Votto. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. A ball and no strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. One ball, no strikes. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward yeah. action. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike, too. Lake making contact on that swing, and will do it again on one and two. to two balls and two strikes now. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Jesse Winker will be next. Had to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Digging in and looking for more, Jesse Winker will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Owen won the count. Now here's the pitch. One ball, one strike. Lays off two and two now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hold the string on him. Strike three swinging. The throw to first is in time and the inning is over. All set for the bottom of the ninth and set to go as the third baseman Brock Holt lifted the other way out to left center. Winker is there and that is a big first out here to start inning number nine. Stepping up now Eric Sogard. He's hitless in three at bats to this point and this one runs up high ball one. Fouled away. One out nobody on. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Hey I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, pop back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on now to the next pitch. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Eric Sogard goes quietly, and they've got only one out left. Ball one. Back up the middle. 
That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. So here is Avisayo Garcia. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. And he fouls this one off. The Brewers down to their final strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove from the first inning. And he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against him. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout. 4 0 the score this afternoon. Cincinnati took the lead in the fourth and the held on until the end. Sonny Gray.